Well, kia ora te whanau. I am now safely arrived in Christchurch. I'm at my daughter's place. This is her room in the background. And um, this week it's been a real busy week with lots of different bits and pieces. So I'm going to show you a selection of what the first week of the school holidays has held for Gumboot Girl. And um, I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit of a mixed bag this week. But it's all with that goal in mind of getting the glamping business up and running. So sometimes we've got to do a whole bunch of tidying and, and stuff to get to that space. And yeah, life happens too. And you know, you've got to see family, have some fun times and enjoy life as well. So I hope you in, enjoy this week's fair. See you next time. Heidi High Campers, Gumboot Girl here. Can you see them? <laughs> so um, it's the end of the first day of the October holidays, and it's been a busy day. Saturday, um, yesterday, I had a day doing wood, and I thought I was going to keep doing that today, but oh, such a beautiful day, and I thought, hmm, if the food's not in the ground, you're not going to eat it. So I've been doing a whole day of gardening. So this is one of my little beauties. So I brought this, I think, pretty sure this is a hypertufa pot. And I got that at the dump actually. And I actually want to make hypertufa pots. So that's now my little herb garden. It's just been a day of potting up things. I've just made a, put some beautiful plants by my wheel there. More herbs and a Nico palm. Um, what else have we done today? I pulled all this out. You have to excuse, I've got this really old selfie stick and it keeps on twisting like a maniac. Um, I did quite a bit in this garden over here today. Planted some plants and some gaps. Hopefully you can see. You won't know the difference because you didn't know what it looked like beforehand. Well, I've put some geraniums in, put a wee, one of my wee roses in, um, put a, that there is a, what's it called, senior moment, um, Cape Gooseberry, and then I've redone all these gardens, hang on, I'm just going to clean the lens because I think you're dirty. Are you better now? So down here. Can you see that? I've redone this garden. Pulled a whole lot of stuff out. Put a whole lot of more stuff in. Put my rose in there. That's going to be a white climbing rose. Because I always wanted like snow white and rose red to have a archway with a red one and a the white one, so I got the white one, and now I'll take you over to the garden. Hi, peaches. There's little white cat peaches. They're having a little time out. Um, oh, I did. I put another Cape Gooseberry over here. It was a massive one out of the tunnel house. I hope it doesn't die. <laughs> It'll be looking a bit sad tonight. So there it is, all droopy in the background there. Put another couple in the back there that I had potted up earlier. And yeah, things are starting to really grow because spring has sprung. So we'll just take you around into the garden. Lots of little beautiful plants are out. Got this cute little iris. You see him there? So that's all cool. That's what I did yesterday. Stacking all that wood up. So that's good. Gets rid of all the rubbish down the driveway and gives me some wood to burn. So over here, oh I think that was a toy. I've been potting up a whole lot of rose cuttings that I took when I pruned my roses. Oh no, he's just a blackberry. Two blackberries try. So over here, you can see a whole bunch of cuttings, 
also some currants, a pepino, and some maybe some gooseberries. Yeah, more stuff over here. My poor little um, oh, I can't remember the name of it, something, something, some oregano there, anyway. Um, all my raspberries are starting to come out really good. This garden is looking really nice, apart from things going to seed, which is really annoying. I've got some really good looking asparagus. Can you see that? I've been having quite a few feeds of that. And got heaps of spinach on the go. This garden's looking really cool. Everything's just starting to grow heaps. And around here I've just put some uh, red onions in. Giving everything a bit of a tidy up there. My garlic's going really well over here. Need to put some pea straw in there though. So yeah, garden's looking really good. Got lots of seedlings coming up inside that I need to pot up, but haven't quite got there yet. Look at these beautiful flowers. How cool is that? They were already here when I came here. So we'll go in the tunnel house. I planted out my strawberries in there today. It's just been a real big potting up day basically. Oh yeah, I put my corn out. So I grew corn in here last year and it was great because certain times of the year it's real windy here. I finally put all my tomatoes out. My um, brassicas are doing really well. I've even got some lovely basil on the go. There's my strawberries, um, courgette, a whole bunch of little uh, tomato seedlings that have come up. These unfortunately aren't doing too well. They're from last year and the snails and slugs really enjoyed them over winter. And then, oh, look at my lettuces, broccoli, and I've decided to have a go at putting my what is it? Orange. Mandarin in here. I've potted them up. Got some really good bok choy. And some stuff going to seed. There's my new little tomatoes. So yeah, lots of seedlings. They're not they can wait a little bit longer, I thought. Got some spuds to put out over there. So I found a really cool bit of ground because I was like, where am I gonna put those? You can probably see the shovel over there. I'm thinking I'm going to put some of them in there. And then the rest in this giant, scary, this is intimidating, <laughs> space over here. That is going to be my orchard. There's a lot of work to do there, people. If anyone wants to come and help me, that will be really awesome. Maybe one day I'll give you some fruit. So anywho, that's a bit of a roundup of what has been achieved today. Tomorrow's Sunday, day of rest. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm really sore and tired. And I'm gonna have a bit of a shower. Might go down the beach, watch the sun go down, because it's a stunning day. Oh, makes you feel happy to be alive. So yeah, you can see the golden light over there on the trees. So, yeah, birds are starting to sing, so it's getting to their belly buys. Ah, oh, peaches, what have you been doing? So, white peaches have been over there trying to steal food. What have you been doing? Where are you? There you go. Yeah, she's a little monkey. My cat and her cat are both called peaches, and they hate it, each other. So, yeah, there's the sun. Oh, in all its glory. Yeah, so this is Gumboot Girl over and out. See you next time. Hi guys, Gumboot Girl in action again. So um, my little art class, my after school primary age kids 
and me have put in an application for a, a chorus cabinet and we won that so we're going to make a mural on here so today I'm sanding it down and then I'm going to undercoat it and then next week I'll come back and start the background and then the kids will come in and do their bit so a um, bit of a grey old day we're outside super liquor so it's it's a very busy place people coming and going to get their alcohol and um, yeah instead of it just being plain white we're going to have something funky so I'll show you how it goes well it's end of day one hopefully you can see what we've done in the background we did a lot more than I thought we might get done which is really awesome um, still a bit to do two fish a seahorse hopefully you can see that but a uh, bit more over I want to make the blue a little bit more blended with some other colors and the same with the green so yeah you might be able to see better if I do it like this so I still got to do the feet there's a few fish still to do the jellyfish if I can be bothered and up on the top I might do clouds we'll pretend that the person disappears up there so yeah there is meant to be a jellyfish there too but we'll see how we go hi all well it's friday of the first week of the october school holidays and still cleaning up the driveway so the four-wheel drive out at the moment been planting some plants i think i'm going a bit hardcore come around here and have a look so I've just been planting a whole bunch of plants, I hope they survive. I might have to come down occasionally and give them a bit of a water. So it should be quite nice though, once they get established. And I'll turn around and give you a view from this way. So when I drive out my driveway, I'll be able to go, wow, that looks really awesome. So next steps. I don't know if I can be bothered today, but to kind of get rid of that hump there, lay it and use a bit of that soil somewhere else, sort of flatten it all out. Still got a few stones to get. Um, yeah, and plant some stuff along here. Got a whole bunch of fox gloves, and I'm still deciding whether to keep them or pull them out or pull some out, keep some. You know, when we have cows, we had cows, I used to pull them all out, but because they're poisonous for cows, but don't have cows, so I could just enjoy some flowers. Um, over the back here, I've got two big pungas that I want to cut up into lengths. Now I've got a whole bunch of firewood to pull out from here as well. Um, and I'm going to use those big pungas. You see one there? This is the end of one here going right down there and I'm going to use those over the other side of the track to make a sort of a, a side piece so I'm about to ring the real estate agents today to look at putting my place on the market so that's why I've been tidying up all along here it's looking a lot better than it was so yeah the land goes 70 meters along this part so this track will still be mine, you can see a couple of pegs up here with blue, so this part over there is going to be theirs as well, it's looking gorgeous at the moment, good time to sell it when the sun's shining, so yeah this is the last peg here, and then it heads off on a slight angle over to my neighbours to the north, um, and from the front boundary I think it's about 100 meters and then along the front here it's about 200 so it's just over a hectare that I've got for sale so anyway I'll give you a shot down the driveway looking pretty good and yeah gonna go and have some lunch see you later Tidy high campers, another stunning day today. Woo, hot. Uh, and I worked so hard yesterday, 
Oh, I was going to go down and finish what I started down my driveway, but oh, I just needed a bit of a rest today, so I've been pottering around, sprayed some weeds, and then I thought, hmm, going to Christchurch tomorrow with my daughter's old car, and I wanted to, to look a little bit flasher, so I've started sanding that sucker um, for the wee bit to go there, and I've given it the sand because it was very kind of damaged it's a it's a rough old girl but um i thought if i can remove all the primer spots might look a, a tad tidier to go to Christchurch. and there was a massive bit over here that had been <coughs> um, bogged at some point and over this side um it goes green so i've sanded it back and it's done surprisingly well um so now I'm going to give it a wee clean. Hi Peaches, where are you? Here's my little girl. Hi Peachy, are you running away? And um, yeah, so I'll give it a wee scrub a dub dub, let it dry. And while I do that, I might cut up some stuff with my chainsaw. Feeling a little less sore and tired now. And then. I'll give it a bit of a paint. Um, I thought I had the right paint. I've only got white primer or undercoat. That should be it's better than nothing at this point. So hopefully it's not too much of a different colour. So catch you later. This is Gumboot Girl over and out. Hi guys. Well, it's almost 7 o'clock and I've just finished spraying the car. Hopefully it doesn't get all dewy and stop it drying. Actually, it came up relatively good. Um, the colour was a wee bit creamier, but hmm, I think it's actually just an undercoat, but it looks at least a little bit tidier to go to Christchurch with. So, um, at least it hasn't got green spots all over it. So, yeah, pretty stoked with how it's come out maybe a cut and polish sometime and we'd have a boy racer the boys at school love my car <laughs> so yeah I'll take all the stuff off it and she'll be looking snazzy hi all mm. thought I was just recording but I wasn't um, Tia's bumper on her old car it's now my car at the moment um, was always really faded and we brought this stuff which worked okay for a, few, a wee while but then it just sort of came back and then I thought hmm maybe nugget might work <laughs> and lo and behold at this point anyway if you can look back there that's looking pretty good I still haven't got into all the little gaps but Sorry, it's looking far better, and I'll show you up the front. So I've done this bit here, but around the front, I've done half of it. And then hopefully you can see the light's probably not very good. But around here, it's all grey and yuck. So, handy tip. I'll let you know how it lasts after a while. Well, that's another wrap for a week. I uh, hope you enjoyed the mix bag and we'll see you next Sunday. And if you've got any suggestions about what you'd like to see or any explanations about stuff that you don't understand, um, just let me know. And yeah, looking forward to seeing you next week.